Fautagu Yeo Scott's The Celtic Podcast. Kimra Ha Huladunya, how is everyone? On today's show in Fekimich Beck and Gallic, that's Let's Try Little Gallic. Frustrated with Gallic? In Celtic history? It's so weird. Of course it's Scottish. In everyday Celtic ways. We're going to hear music from Brigham Phillips and the rest of the other four tracks from Kathleen McKinnis from two of her great albums. And in History of Ireland, in 1297, the first representative Irish Parliament meets in Dublin. Of course, this was of the lordship of, the, of Ireland. If you're already a subscriber to the E. Old Scott YouTube channel and enjoy the variety of interesting videos and podcasts that we produce weekly, then you should join us on the Yeo Scott Facebook group. Not only do you get all the great videos you already enjoy, but so much more. Come and connect with your Celtic community here on Yeo Scott Facebook group. Learn the history of Gaelic songs as you learn to sing them. Gaelic and English lyrics are provided to give you a deeper understanding of the song, to guide you when you're learning, or just sit back and enjoy these beautiful songs. Welcome to Learn a Gaelic Song. Today's song is Baba Molenev. And I want to ask you, if you don't mind, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Yield Scott. Now, on with the program. Baba Molenev, a sad but very beautiful lullaby. After the execution of the clan chief McGregor of Glenstray in 1570, his widow composed and sang this lullaby lament for her child. There exist several versions of this song, and is probably more commonly heard as Grigal Cree, my beloved Gregor. Alright, on with the song. Remember, Gaelic's at the top, English is at the bottom. Get ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Scottish Gaelic is native to the Gales of Scotland. Scottish Gaelic developed out of the Old Irish, and learning this beautiful language can be a direct link to your Gaelic ancestors. Follow along in Fekimich Beckham Gaelic, and like I said, let's try a little Gaelic. Frustrated with Gaelic? An easy way to keep the Scottish Gaelic language alive is to keep it in your daily vocabulary. Little bits here and there to let those around you know how important it is to you. This is especially important if you have small children. They will have the benefits of learning another language and share a common link with you and your heritage. All right, this week I'm frustrated with Gaelic, part seven. Eggs and eating and things associated. U, egg. U Bruch hard boiled egg. U er Freigig fried egg. And U prone scrambled egg. All right, you may want your egg seasoned. A little bit of salen, salt, peanut pepper. You may like it salty, salicha, or peppery. Hebrach. Hopefully when you make that dish of eggs up and you hand it to the kid, he says, Hami ech icha un. I'm eating eggs. Or, when he's done, Yich mi un. I ate my eggs. And hopefully when he hands you back that plate, it's either Salak or clan salic dirty clan clean Shakuli, <laughs> 
Celtic History brings you the tales of the land, castles, warriors, heroes, legends, and customs that have created the rich, vibrant, and sometimes strange and wonderful history of the Celtic world. It is so weird, and of course it's Scottish. 48 Days Adrift On the 10th of January 1930, a mysterious, tattered three-mast ship with no rudder, sails, or lifeboats appeared off Ardna Merchant in the Western Isles of Scotland. Terrible conditions were suffered by the five passengers and the crew of the small Newfoundland and coasting schooner called the Neptune II, which was swept off her course near Newfoundland and helplessly blown across the stormy Atlantic by a succession of strong gales. After losing the rudder, sails, and lifeboats, the ship drifted for 48 days. The Neptune II was towed to Tobermory, and it, it was almost completely destroyed, but still afloat during its adventure, but it survived this trip across the Atlantic somehow.
Everyday Celtic Ways brings you the mythology, traditions, and customs that have created a unique and personal culture that still affects those that are Celtic and those that just love the Celtic world. Each of the Scottish Highland games are ancient and sprang from a need to train for battle, even when they could not train conventionally. The stone foot is no exception to this, as seen here in the blockbuster movie Braveheart. Today's athletes, though, use more than just mere strength. They use technique, and they train for the games. They don't train for battle. That's a good throw. Hi, boss. I was wondering if you could do that when it matters. As it matters in the games. Was that your PR? Are you stupid? It's foam covered rubber. The modern game encompasses two types of stone put. The Braemar, which is a stone put from a standing position. No advance is used. And the open stone put which allows an advance whether using the spin to gain momentum or the slide. Each are arguably effective. Unlike the shot put of 16 pounds, stones can vary in size and shape, weighing between 20 to 28 pounds. And since athletes can't use gloves, they use wraps to support their wrists from the intense forces applied to them. They use chalk on hands and the stone to increase their grips. As with all of the events, control must be maintained. You must not step on or over the trig or out of the throwing box. And if you throw, remember to go get the stone for the next guy. I often forgot this very important step. I always wanted to walk off cocky after a great throw. Shenya Vleo Ha Leo Hoela Shenya Vleo Ha Leo Hoela Fala Dingila Dingu Hoela Be my ear small who crow small good of the ready. Savating voy hori, bahu kravla medi, valicha kamiusi, slesum traing milag, a kisha kajuli, spahu kraglum hine, kaloi krimoguha, a duska kanishlen. Shenyav leo ha leo horuela. Shenyav leo ha leo horuela. Fala dingila dingu horuela. Be my ears mohu krag smogu rach viredi. Koman abiamak anglasa hungoni, uish chis parich kah kalak esoiker, kumav kachilas nar kuinga der pioyat, elanga nrivach es plishal vernoiker. Shenya vleo ha leo horoela. Shenya vleo ha leo horoela. Falla dingila dingu horoela. Be my ears mohu krag smohu rach viredi. Bye, boy.
Jahren schalle se vatin vojhechen, an malake marglanje kars maled ne spiren, runjan is glanan is pianan klaskikach, vojhechis varai a kawak hila. Top of Love of Now remember to check out my YouTube channel. It's got Celtic music, podcasts, Gaelic language, Gaelic song, Celtic history videos, plus lots more. And my Facebook group where you can give me your inputs and insights on all things Celtic. Goodbye, Apple Baby. Marsha Weave. But I'm going to let you go with a song.
just hate.